Hello everybody, my name is Andrew McClendon. I got this very funny and amazing video with Kevin Knowles. If you don't know about the guy, he's really, really good. I will post his channel below. He's funny, he's witty, he has really good arguments, really good debate structure when uh, talking to other people. So check out this video. I hope you like it, guys. Let's roll it. When I'm telling you wear a mask, <laughs> keep social distancing, avoid crowds, wash your hands, do things outdoors more than indoors. There's nothing political <laughs> about that. That's a public health message that we know works. Dr. Fauci demonstrated his grip on church and state last March when he told everyone to stop wearing masks. Do you remember this? Because I have the quote. I don't want to be taken off of YouTube. Now, I remember, guys, during this whole COVID pandemic, things have been going back and forth, back and forth. Wear a mask, don't wear a mask, social distancing. He's just burning a hole. And uh, with, uh, with Dr. Fauci jumping both sides, jumping on the fence, coming back, it's, it's actually pretty funny. So let's roll us some more. I have the quote here from Dr. Fauci. He says, there's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better. It, it might even block a droplet. But it is not providing the perfect protection that people think it is. But Dr. Fauci did not just leave it there. He didn't just say that the masks were ineffective. He actually went further. <clears throat> there are unintended consequences. People keep fiddling with the mask and they keep touching their face. According to Dr. Fauci, not only did the masks not help, they actually actively harmed the public health. Now for me guys, I am not a fan of masks. I don't like it. It just, it's such a waste of time to be for the most part. And it just that like, it's, for me, it's just like it's a good way to control people, keep people in fear, especially they use their masks in that way. Then a few weeks later, everything changed. Do you remember this? Dr. Fauci decided that not only are masks effective at slowing the spread, actually they're essential. He insisted on, quote, universal wearing of masks. So what changed? <laughs> was it the science that changed? The science? No, it was not the science. Even, even Dr. Fauci admitted that. He said, <laughs> all right, one more time. <clears throat> Back then, there was the critical issue to save masks for the people who really needed them because it was felt, it was felt, not I felt, it was, it was felt by some that there was a shortage of masks. In other words, Dr. Fauci believed that the masks would protect people, but he considered some people more deserving of the masks than other people, so he lied to the public and told them that the masks would not protect anybody so that there would be more masks left over for his fellow public health workers. The decision, as he admitted his own words, was not primarily scientific. The decision was primarily political. But Dr. Fauci couldn't quite admit that. During an interview on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, you missed it, so did everybody else, he, Dr. Fauci was asked about this flip and he said, I'm not going to do the Fauci voice anyway. I'll get a sore throat if I keep doing it. All right, one more time. He says, <laughs> he says, for goodness sakes, I've never had a political ideology that I've made public. I'm really just talking to you about public health. When I'm telling you wear a mask, keep social distancing, avoid crowds, wash your hands, do things outdoors more than indoors. There's nothing political about that. That's a public health message that we know works. Now, I will give Dr. Fauci the benefit of the doubt, and I will chalk this ridiculous statement up to ignorance. But he actually claimed that his decision to reorder the way that 330 million people live, work, relax, travel, walk out the front door, that his decision to mandate how people would open their businesses or not open their businesses was not political. Shut down the economy, curtail constitutional rights, close churches, but don't close marijuana dispensaries. Now, it's actually pretty funny. A lot of businesses were open while others were forced to be closed because they were essential businesses. Essential. 
<laughs> I mean, it's all politicized. I mean, I think this is, they use this pandemic as a power grab, and you can't allow, well, you can't have a crisis go missed. So they use this to grab as much power as they possibly can. Now, you can say Democrats, Republic, I, Republicans. I will say just people who are interested in taking more power for for the long run. I hope the next pandemic doesn't get even worse. You know, but let's roll it. Those are essential. All of that was not political, according to Dr. Fauci, because Dr. Fauci, he didn't care about politics, you see. He just cares about what works. <laughs> so, guys, that's the video. Really funny. I like how he's making fun of uh, Dr. Fauci, you know, just showing this the silliness into him. Uh, but, uh, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Tell me your guys' thoughts are. Drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.